Well, here it is, another day. Under enhanced, oh, I'm wrong, modified enhanced community quarantine. No, nope. I don't see no end in sight. They're just going to keep shifting from different statuses. Oh, okay, you're on ECQ today. 50, the 31st of May, we're going to put you on GCQ. <laughs> And now we got a modified GCQ. Where they come up with these terms, I have no idea. If the people are responsible, I would think that's probably 99% of the problem. It's got your individuals that won't wear the mask, which of course there's a debate whether the mask is effective or not. I'm a firm believer it should be the surgical mask like they wear in the operating rooms, but not enough of those available so people are forced to use makeshift masks And when they wear the makeshift mask, you know, as I said, it's not probably very effective. There's not a big military presence like there was before. Formerly there was a big, big military presence here. They will find you, though, if they catch you not wearing the mask. Last I heard it was 3,500 pesos. What's that, $75? That's, that's quite a jump if you're, quite a payment if you're only earning pesos. And most of the people aren't earning no money. I don't know if you can see those people sitting down in those chairs there. Those are people that are applying for their health certificates. 
they have jobs like in SBMA, Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority, former U.S. Naval Station, Subic Bay, Republic of the Philippines. That's about an hour away from here. Yes, as I can see, there's not a big uh, military presence like there was before. And I want to thank you very much for viewing. If you could please subscribe, I'd appreciate that. Have a great day. I don't even know if the store I want is open. I don't know.